Hello and welcome to DAX for Humans. My name is Greg Deckler, and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at a way to add columns in DAX. Now if you recall from our last episode where we were grouping rows in DAX, we use the summarize function in order to summarize our table by both item and price columns, and then we added these columns, uh, average quantity, max date, and total cost, right within the summarize function. But let's say that we wanted to take our price column and multiply it by our average quantity column in order to get an average cost column. Now you might think that we could do that right within the summarize function. So take the same summarize function, add average cost, and just multiply our price by our average quantity column. However, you'll notice the underscore here, the red underscore within average, average quantity. And it says our average quantity column cannot be found it may not be used in this expression. Now the reason for this is because the average quantity column is a calculated column that's part of the summarize function, so it really doesn't actually exist until the summarize function completes. So what do we do in this kind of case? Well, we can use a function called add columns. So the add columns function takes as its first argument any table, like physical table, or a DAX expression that returns a table. So in this case, summarize. So we then second expression, second parameter to this function, we feed it the name of the column we want to create. And the third expression, or third parameter, is we give it the DAX expression to calculate the value for that column. Now if we wanted to, we could add a comma here and add another pair of parameters to calculate an additional column. And this can be done as many times as you want within this add columns function. So in this case, what's going on here is the summarize function completes. So now this average quantity column exists, and now we can use it in a DAX expression to calculate the average cost. Now, something you'll notice here is we're nesting these DAX functions, and you can nest DAX functions almost infinitely, but it's not necessarily the most readable code in the world. So to get around this, you know, we can use our table vars. So a little bit better representation of this exact same formula is we can create a table var that just grabs our table, and then we use another table var called summarize table to summarize, that's our summarize expression right here. And then we create a third table var for our add columns table where we add the, use add columns function against our summarize table and add in our average cost column. So you notice here that both summarize and add columns, again, can refer, their first parameter can be a physical table reference like table or a virtual table such as our table var here and our table var here for add columns. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.